This is DW News live from Berlin. Turkey accuses Kurdish fighters of attacking a civilian airport. Turkish media reports say as many as four rockets were fired, causing minor damage but no injuries. This comes as... I'm Mariana Evanstein. Good to have you with us. Turkish warplanes and artillery have again hit targets in Syrian territory on the fifth day of Turkey's cross-border campaign. These images from these latest operations come just hours after four rockets hit a civilian airport near the Turkish city of Diyarbakir. Turkey is blaming Kurdish militants for that attack, which caused some damage but no casualties. The rockets were reportedly aimed at a police checkpoint outside the airport. No one has claimed responsibility. Italian magistrates are investigating whether construction companies ignored regulations meant to make buildings less liable to collapse during earthquakes. This follows last Wednesday's tremors in central Italy, which destroyed buildings across several hill towns, killing nearly 300 people. One key focus of the probe is to be a school, which was reduced to rubble despite being rebuilt in 2012, just three years after another fatal quake prompted strict new standards. Now to some of the other stories making news around the world. The Goethe Institute is a bastion of German language and culture, with offices all over the world. Every year, the Institute awards a medal to foreigners who have done outstanding work promoting international cultures. Well, this year's award has been given to a photographer from Nigeria, who is trying to break down cultural perceptions of his hometown. To Bundesliga soccer now, and on Saturday, Frankfurt faced Schalke, a team many insiders believe could make waves this season. Schalke's ambitious new coach, Markus Weinzierl, has brought in some quality players, and the club was optimistic of kicking off the season with a win. But it took Frankfurt and in other Saturday action, Wolfsburg traveled to Augsburg, hoping to get off to a good start to their campaign after falling far short of expectations last season. And... And joining us now to discuss how the big teams have started off in this new Bundesliga season is our very own Chris Hess. Match day one saw all but two games play out. Mm -hmm. What were the highlights? Getting start to the season, but with all this excitement, did any of the teams show that they could possibly dethrone Bayern this season? Well, I've said it once, I'll say it before. It should be called. You're watching DW News live from Berlin. We will be back with more at the top of the hour. In the meantime, don't forget you can always go to our website for the latest news and information. That's at DW.com. I'm Mariana Evanstein in Berlin. Thanks for watching and stay with DW.